twins have quite the collection going with their advent calendars. This one's Andrew's. Ethan's, he opened this little blue one today. It matches my shirt. We had a slight dusting of snow overnight. Just enough to have to send snow pants to school. And whenever we need to do that, you need boots, snow pants, hats, gloves. It always causes mass chaos. friends welcome back to the 12 days of vlogmas if my math is right i think we're on video four or is it five i can't remember <laughs> i'm actually sitting outside of mcdonald's i just dropped the kids off at school and charlie went to grandma's house for the day because i'm actually taking a little bit of a mini road trip to do some christmas shopping with my mom so i have an hour and a half drive ahead of me and the goal is to try to knock out just a bunch of Christmas shopping. I am behind the ball when it comes to that. So hopefully we'll find some good gifts today. I'm specifically shopping for the kids. I really need to get going with the twins and hopefully find them some treasures. So we're planning to go to a few stores that we do not have here locally. We're going to meet actually at Fleet Farm, which is kind of a funny place to start, but they usually have like a really good Christmas section with all kinds of different toys, like aisles and aisles of it. So it's kind of a fun tradition. We'll start there. I'm also thinking Shields. If you know Shields, it's a sporting goods store but they have just a good variety of items so we'll see where the day takes us I'm not quite sure all the places will go but I look forward to this day every single year so anyways I'm going to I actually ordered a breakfast sandwich on the McDonald's app it's like a dollar breakfast sandwich so I'm waiting outside for that have my coffee and I'm going to just jam out to some Christmas music as we drive I made it here. I actually brought my mom a little gift. And here's one of those Santa canisters from the Target Dollar Spot. She had asked that I pick her up once. So I need to give her this. I probably could have wrapped it nicer, but oh well. Grandma brought gifts for the kids. And I suppose probably your daughter. I do have one for you. All right. <laughs> Every year she buys the kids matching Christmas pajamas. Time to shop till we drop. We're heading to the Toyland. I really like that. The sleigh rides one. Well, I like them all. Where would I put it? Does it matter? I know. Do they do anything? They look thick. really cute you know I like this although I mean how many joy signs is too many I think I have like five of them out this year <laughs> love their puzzles here they have quite the selection and they're 50% off right now there's so many cute toys oh Coco melon why do our kids have to grow Peppa Pig oh drilling action I feel like they'd grow out of that right away actually found quite a bit here now I'm looking at clothes I actually was thinking about that she probably would we're in TJ Maxx now oh I bet she would like this I hope she's not watching she's always stealing my hats look at that cupcakes 
Ooh, that one's soft on the inside. Look at that, family socks. TJ Maxx was quite busy. I did get a couple of things. One thing I got for my husband, just a puffer vest. I'll, I can show it to you when I get home. He doesn't watch my video, so I feel okay about that. But we're gonna head into Ulta really quick and see if we can find a few smaller gifts and then we're gonna break for lunch. Shields, we have a long list and we have like three hours to go. Check out the smokers. Ooh, yeah, I need to get some of that stuff back there. I can't not look at the Christmas decor. Yeah. <laughs> I like those plaid ornaments a lot. Oh, that fireplace is massive. Oh yeah, that is cute. Oh, I like that cutting board, that's really cute. This is fun. Mm -hmm. It comes with that. Mm -hmm. it's like it. Oh, it's mud pie. Daily stop at the new house, just wanted to check on the progress. It is significantly colder here than it was where I was shopping all day, which is kind of a bummer. It was super nice where we were, but anyways, just fun to see the stone updates. It doesn't look like they're out here working today on the stone, but there's um, some guys inside, but I don't like to go in there when they're working. It's just kind of awkward, so I'll have to go back and see what they've been working on at different times. So I'm gonna head home. I do not have very much time. I actually just dropped Madden off for golf simulator lessons. It's indoor, not outdoor. And I need to go back and pick him up here in like 45 minutes. So I'm hoping that Charlie and I'll just go home really quick. I'll bring all this stuff in, things that I bought, hide some of the gifts, and it'll be time to take off to go pick up all the kids. I have about 10 minutes until I need to leave to go pick up all the kids. So when we get back, we will open those and I can share with you the pajamas that they got. My mom also gave me a little gift bag. She accidentally bought two of these and asked if I would want one. I'm like, of course. So I'll find a home for that and share that in my home tour. She also gave me this book. She read it and I said, oh, I've been wanting to read that. So I'm, I might actually get started on this tonight. I just love the shopaholic books. I think I've read them all except for this one. So she lent me that and then also a weakness of mine. Popcorn balls. Oh, and this is the caramel one. Even better. I can't wait. It's been a day of running though. We got cut short on our last stop in Home Goods. We had a few things we were going to buy, but the line was so crazy long. And after waiting like 20 minutes and realizing it was going to be another 20 minutes to a half hour in line, we're like, it's not worth it. So it's definitely busy out there, which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, I was out of time. I needed to get back to pick up Madden to get him to golf. So I'm here briefly. I thought I would share with you the few items that I can. I'm not going to share with you anything that I picked up for the kids just because I don't want to ruin their Christmas. Every once in a while, they will watch one of my videos, especially around this time of year, if they think they can see anything that they're going to be getting. But I did get a few things that I can share. Um, Ulta was uh, kind of a quick little run there. I just grabbed more of the CC cream. This is the It Cosmetics. This is what I will use most days of the week. I grabbed it in the shade Fair Light, which I've never used. It's one shade lighter than what I have. So I needed that. So nothing too exciting at Ulta, but I'll oh, share. These are like the most random things. This is the vest I picked up for my husband at TJ Maxx. He's always so cold and I keep telling him he should try to wear vests during the winter. So this is the first one, we'll see how it goes. But I think he's going to really like having these this time of year. So grab that at TJ Maxx as well as, this is so random, bag clips because I think we only brought like two or three of them here 
and we need more. So I saw this one, we don't need 10 more, but I liked the neutral colors and they were only $4.99. So grabbed some clips. We use these in all sorts of different ways. I also found this Stanley mug at Shields. They had a bunch of them. I really liked this color. This is actually a gift for one of our family members. I'm kind of jealous. I have one. I have a navy blue one, but I don't like this one better. I don't know. So I was happy to find one of those. Kind of a good gift for anyone if they're hard to buy for. And the last thing I can actually share with you, I picked up my very first Carhartt flannel. I don't know. I just want to give it a try. It feels so warm. And I was joking with my mom. I'm like, well, I'm a country girl now. We're living out in the country. Kind of, not really. I need a, I need a cozy flannel. So... <laughs> Got that at Fleet Farm. I almost grabbed the red and black buffalo check, but decided to go with the green. So I feel like I could wear it throughout winter. And then we also in the mail today received the stocking tags that I ordered with all of our names on it. Oh, they turned out so good. So my friend Rita, I actually met her through YouTube. She had a YouTube channel many years ago. And so I met her that way. And then we've just kind of stayed connected through her Etsy shop. She just creates the cutest little things. She made those mini cutting boards that I always use on my tiered trays. And so I asked her if she would make me these and she delivered, they're adorable. No, I don't know what he's barking at. What are you barking at? <laughs> Nothing. Aren't they the cutest? Oh my gosh, they're not too big, they're not too small. I chose the black, but there's definitely different options. Oh, I love them. They're perfect. So in my home tour, I will share these with you, all hung up, but in the meantime, I will link her Etsy shop down below. She seriously makes the cutest things. It's time to go get the kids. Let's go. We gotta go get the kids. I probably won't get a chance later to say goodbye and thank you so much for watching. So I thought I would do that right now. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> and I honestly just thank you for following along in the 12 days of Vlogmas. All of your comments, they just mean the world to me. I was so unsure if I wanted to do Vlogmas this year, but um, I'm so glad I did. So thank you so much. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video, which will be my Christmas home tour coming up on Saturday morning. Monster. Did you get a craft little kit? Oh, good. Oh, funny. A craft. Oh, cute. Oh, yeah. What in the world is that? <laughs> oh, fun. Wow, you guys are so lucky. Yay, where are those tonight? <laughs> what do you guys say to Grandma?